I'm gonna get a Predator film to do a Mad Lib. Give me a time period. Japan, 1100s. Okay, now give me the actor we're all asking for. Hiroyuki Sonata. Okay, how many Predators? Two. All right, why are they there? For training. Okay, and this mirrors? Our protagonist. Right, and what's just a huge set piece for the final battle? A burning samurai temple. All right, the next Predator film, Hiroyuki Sonata plays an old samurai in 1100s feudal Japan who's dishonored his lord by letting his wife get murdered. He knows he must take his own life for this dishonor, but not before teaching the lord's son the way of the samurai and defeating the Minamoto clan to win the Genpai War. Sonata and the boy ascend the Minamoto temple, realizing that their enemies are being picked off by invisible foes. These two Predators mirroring our protagonists are an elder teaching a youngling how to hunt. Sonata and the boy notice that they're only attracted to heat, so they cover themselves in snow as the predators wipe out the entire Minamoto clan, and they set the temple on fire, throwing off the predator's thermal vision. The samurai boy defeats the predator boy as the elders fight on the roof. Sonata's about to be murdered. The predator takes him from behind. The kid gets to the roof, three dots showing up on his forehead, and Sonata pulls out his samurai sword and says, Death before dishonor. He stabs it through his body. He goes through, stabs the predator, green blood everywhere. The son goes back to his father, having won the war with a story nobody will ever believe. We're going to make so much fucking money.